Hello everyone. We are in a time of a big readjustment in the rhythms that we are normalized to or even perhaps take for granted. This social distancing, this new isolation, this is foreign feeling to us as human beings who are created for in-person community with one another. So our perspectives are changing. They're being challenged in this time. To keep our faith life vibrant, I'm going to be doing an online Bible study these next couple of weeks on the book of Acts. I chose this book because the early Christian church was in the middle of disruptions, of changes in their perspective, of trying to figure out the rhythms on how to do this new church thing. And there are many parallels we can draw in our current climate. How do we do this new church thing through the internet with one another? I had an interesting change in perspective last night in an unexpected place. Madeline asked me if I'd go sit out on the deck and take our dog so she could do an online yoga class for an hour, free from interruption, from barking, from noise. And so I went out and I sat and read for an hour. First time I'd done that in a long time. After I settled in, I noticed a species of bird was calling back and forth to one another. And it was the final call before they wind down and settle in for the night and go to sleep. After they finished, a different species of bird inserted themselves into the night and started their back and forth. After a while, they wound down and were going to sleep. When space was created, the crickets chimed in. And I had this little philosophical moment that even in the midst of my disruptions, life all around me is going on in its rhythms. No one's told the birds or the crickets the coronavirus is here. So these next couple of weeks, we're going to be studying the book of Acts. It's going to be on Facebook and on the church's YouTube channel. 2,000 years ago, the first wave of Christian communities, they met in homes, and they met in places other than the synagogues. That would have been the daily expectation and rhythm for hundreds of years by that point, to go to the synagogue. So they gathered. They were trying to figure out how to do this new Christian house church thing. And so in a similar way, we too are meeting in our homes via the internet. We're trying to figure out how to do this internet house church thing so that our faith can remain vibrant in these times, this era when perspective and rhythm are changing. I have a picture I want to show you by an artist who I really enjoy named He Ki. He grew up in China during the Cultural Revolution. He was a middle schooler between 1966 onward. So having some time as a youth, having taken art lessons, in middle school he would paint portraits of Mao in order to escape labor in the fields. Expressions of Christianity and art wasn't allowed at this time. And that became more lax as time went on. Eventually he was one of the first to earn a PhD in religious art after the Cultural Revolution in 92. So now he creates many beautiful paintings of famous biblical scenes in the Chinese folk art tradition. And the one I want to show you is called The Holy Spirit is Coming. This pairs with Acts chapter 2, verses 1 through 5. And the verses go like this. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came the rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. And in this painting, Hiki has made some interesting choices. The flames, the tongues of fire, are rendered as red doves above the heads of these disciples. The different disciples, these believers, they are rendered as big as the city streets, as the buildings, as the homes, even the temple in the distance. And I think he is trying to say something, that God is about to change something. A holy disruption is coming that is large. And so, friends, in these couple of weeks, in our time of disruption, the holy is still here. The Spirit is still at work doing large things. And I invite you not to lose sight of that as we start this journey together, studying the book of Acts, and as we continue on this journey together of remaining in community in these new and challenging, but important ways. Amen and peace.